Let's see, open stage. We got the right one. Oh, well, hey, I didn't notice you guys there. Welcome. Let's play Super Metroid 100%. Now, we were just exploring this new area of Meridia. Not that. I think this bottom place right now is like a, if you fall down, it's random. Although, I do happen to know of something down here. Oh, there's something I didn't point out before. See if you charge up and jump around. And my keyboard sucks because it won't let me push more than. For whatever reason, that jump button won't let me go with more than. So that's kind of alternate. But if you, you know, you have a flash and you kind of, you're, you're a weapon. You run into stuff and you destroy it. Now right here, if I'm not mistaken, in this douchebag, you just have the stick right there. This is what I was thinking of as far as sinking goes. I got nabbed by something. It's not a problem. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure where this is going to keep me out. Well, well, you know. We got imbecile upgrade. And let's switch on the other side because I think there's something over there too. Hmm. Okay, okay. Again, I think this is supposed to be a place where you have to have a certain power up, but. There you go. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to check and be sure there's nothing. It's going to screw me. Okay. Okay. Good deal. And we get our power bomb upgrade as well. I, I, I think that's supposed to require the other upgrade. I mean, it's it's a little easier to do than that hole, <laughs> admittedly. Um, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like you're supposed to go up that away and try to come down through here, but pff, screw that. Oh, that's right. I forget I can jump in the ball now. This ought to, yeah, go away. Let me down here. Now to get out of here, I do believe we got to just fall. It's like, hmm, to go back around to get up there. Not a big deal. Now that I know where I'm going. And the trick with, uh, well, shit, am I gonna fall or not? There's a specific place you gotta fall. Could be wrong. Well, let's see if it'll let me sink. Yes. There it goes. Yeah, and there's a certain place you had to fall to get down here. And this is gonna be in this room. That's remember I told you earlier. This is the room I was thinking of where you can fall through things from above and come out down here. Oops. Alrighty. Oh, we have to loop back around. Is there an easy way to do this? Not really. Gotta go all the way up, however. Um, yeah, that's basically how it's gotta be done. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Makes it neat simple. Um, thinking about it, I may just cut to when I'm over there. So you don't have to watch me do this whole thing again. Um, we'll just have to see how long it's actually taking me to do this. It's not too long, I'll stick with this one, and if I end up having to do it multiple times, I won't make you watch that. Um, we'll just see. So I'm gonna keep talking, just in case. I do end up decide to keep this, if I decide to cut it, then... Oh well. You get to lose whatever, you don't get to hear me talking about whatever the hell I'm talking about right now. Which is all of this stuff. I want to go... Down. Too bad that one gate doesn't stay open once you open it. Won't be handy. Because then I can just go through that way. And I feel like there's something I'm missing. Like there's a shorter way to get through there. But I'm just not doing it because I'm dumb. I like to get back up. But maybe not. I mean, you know. Damn it. It's the only way I know of to go through here, so. That's the way I'm going. Yoink. 
I mean, this right here is considered part of Meridia after all. They put it in here, so might as well use it. Oh, let me up. Expecting the wall jump. Okay. Now I'll do. So if I can continue to make this my grapple beam way across. That's what really ate up time last time. Because I sucked it hard with the grapple beam. There we go. That block. Huh. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's some blocks that just have a timer on them before they disappear. Or if you have to let go before they disappear. Like that one, it seemed to. What? I totally hit that. It seems to, uh, it seemed to hold on while it was there and it went away when I let go. But it may have been that there was indeed a timer on it as well. And I just got off before the timer. That's why I was kind of trying to hurry it up. There. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is the most annoying thing to have to do with the grapple beams to go up like this. Because it's... Whoa, shit. Damn it, I hate these things actually will hurt you. Oh, no, 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 woo. Okay, that doesn't matter, I guess I can launch off it. Why do I keep launching so far over instead of up? I guess, I guess what it is is I'm trying to think about it in physics style, which is not how I should be doing it, clearly. Um, being in physics, you go at, at, it's a tangent, it's whatever direction you're moving when you let go. So if you let go straight to the right, you should shoot straight up, which actually was the case. Huh, interesting. You know, so if you let go when your beam is pointing directly left or right, you should shoot straight up or down depending on the direction you're spinning. And, uh, I guess that's working. I'm just letting go early. I can make this. Thank you. Huh. Now I'll try not to fuck this up. What the hell? Grr, that annoys me. Well... I bet you can probably make this. <laughs> Come on. Maybe not. There. I can at least do that. <laughs> if I miss this jump, I know I can at least go back and... There. It's actually harder to do than you think to grapple it when you're right there on it, point blank. Because you have to time it. I'm also always aiming up to the right, so I have to wait a little bit longer than you'd think to grab a little bit. Kind of annoying. Um, die. I'm gonna try this thing down at the bottom of this room one more time, because I know I think the whole the idea behind it is you got to get to where you're actually like running, like speed boot running. Um, I don't remember what's down there, to be honest. I know something is, and it may be that and what I went through is exactly what's down there. Um, because it looks like. Oh, I do. It's a matter of, yeah, it's a bunch of those things you can fall through. There's at least one more of them, is the whole point in going down there. If you'll sink down through it, you can pick up more power-ups. Um, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do the other one, go down, get the power-ups, and run, loop myself all the way back around. But I will do what I did last time. I'm going to cut in. You know, I've already cut in by now. And I'm just going to cut out when I get down to the bottom. My whole having to get back up here again. Yeah, see, there you go. That's what you're supposed to do. Nope. No, no, no. You can't. Yeah. I don't know that it's possible to get across it if you're not speed booting, to be honest. These things, you can't kill them. You can just knock them out of your way. They will hurt you. There you go. They're also really fucking annoying. And they'll can't. They come, like, you know, come rubber banding back at you if you're not careful. That sucks. What's up here? Nothing. Something over here, then. I know it. Aha, this is where you're supposed to have the spring wall. That's the intent here, if I'm not mistaken. Unless that's the way out. I think the, the, yeah, that was the intent. Oh, hey, that's where the last reserve tank is. Also, big boulder falling on me. 
there you go, we're about to get our last reserve test down. The fuck? God damn it. So it looks like we're supposed to have to go up here. feel like is going to be the case. Whoa, that's what it was. And I think it's... No, not right there. That's it, it's right here. You don't want to stand on that. I think what they want you to do is, is that, is spring ball it up here. You can get it otherwise uh, by wall jumping or just jumping and timing it. That's how I used to do it before I would pick up, I would get here before I'd pick up the spring ball. Because I think you're supposed to get here before you have this, like, not supposed to get here per se before you have the spring ball. But the whole idea is that you know, you're gonna get here and look, oh, I can't get up there without the spring ball. Or without, you know, something. I don't know how to get up here. And you won't think about it until after you get the spring ball and then come back. But I sequence broke it and got the spring ball early. So I can get up here. And we've got a reserve tank and another missile pack. So that, that completes our set of four reserve tanks. Um, we're getting way up near that high in the missile. I don't actually remember, like I've said. I do, I mean, obviously, the max energy tanks is obvious. They'll fill up the row. Um reserve tanks is four but I, and i'm almost certain missiles is 225 i do not remember about super missiles and or yeah super missiles and power bombs i will look that up uh, just to be sure i do have all of them when i do bother to go through it when you know when i get near the end i will you know there's a certain point in which you know i know that at that point you can have every you know every power up is available to you and i will be sure i get them all at that point um I'll just look it up just to be sure, whatever the max number is, and be sure I've got it. There we go. Or, you know, to learn that I need to go look it up. Look up how to get some of them if I. Which could be annoying because to do that really, and you know, figure out which ones I have and don't have. Um, I think you could probably look at a list and I probably could figure it out. But I'll probably just end up watching a little run. I just kind of, you know, click through a 100% run on YouTube or something real quick. Just looking at, you know, which ones they pick up and where. That's how I figured it out the first time I got 100%. You know, I got up to, like, I think one or two main missile packs left. I think that was actually it. They had anything else left and had to go watch a run to figure out where they were. So this is what I'll probably do again. And I'll probably, actually, probably the way to do it, you could just get a tool assisted. 100% run. So those things are maybe, you know, half an hour long. Tops. You can just sit there and watch it. Okay, I have no idea what time it is, but I'm sure I'm getting low. Also, I'm cutting this out, so I will... From here, I'll cut back up to the top. Uh, to that new area, and I will meet you there and go to that save point. That will be the end of this episode. Looks like 30 super bombs is my max. Oh, this thing. Come on. Yeah, here we go. smoother than before. Um, now, I think 30 power bombs I think is where I'm at at the moment. And I don't know if that's the max. I know, I know for a fact that can't be the max because I know where another one is. Um, I guess it's got to be 50. Like, I'm, I'm fairly certain 50 super missiles is the max there. Oh, see, I have more than 30 power bombs. I thought I, huh. Oh, it must be because that one I just picked up probably knocked me up to 35. Anyway, for consistently consistency, consistency and, and hilarity, I'm going to end it right here in the exact same spot I did the last one. So, this is uh, Let's Play Super Match 100%. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.